Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Highlight and Share, and I'll show you the end result here, which is very nice and succinct. And let's go back and show you how to use Highlight and Share on your site. To install Highlight and Share, just go to Add New Plugins in your dashboard, and I'm going to search for Highlight and Share. And just click install now. And then once that's ready, activate it. And you'll see some, uh, without even going to the settings, you'll see that we have the option to tweet or share it. If I click tweet, you'll see the highlighted text along with a non-shortened URL. And I'll show you how to shorten that in a minute. Um, likewise, if we do Facebook, It'll say, you know, say something about this and then share the post. And there's a way, if you use the app ID, you can actually highlight and share text using the app ID. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go back to the plugin settings. And actually, before that, I'll show you some default plugins I have installed. I have Better Font Awesome, um, that allows icons to be shown. And I have uh, Jetpack by WordPress.com enabled. That enables short links. And then I also have Yoast SEO installed. And that allows for open graph data to be shared to Facebook and other sharing services. So go ahead and install those plugins if you don't already have it. Remember, it's got Yoast SEO, it's uh, Jetpack, and it's Better Font Awesome, which is a great plugin, by the way. So let's go into settings, highlight, and share. And you'll see a myriad of settings here. But since I have a, a better font awesome install, let's do icons only. And then go ahead and let's fill out a username for my Twitter. And then let's enable short links. And then let's save it. And let's go back to the front end and refresh. And then highlight some text. And then if I do Twitter now, it'll show my highlighted text. Also give me a, excuse me, a nice little short link. And I'll say via Renalfi, which is my Twitter username. And the Facebook text won't change at all. But it will enable some nice open graph data thanks to Yoast SEO. Let me show you how to enable some themes because some people don't like the way this looks by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into highlight and share settings and I can choose a black theme for example. And then let's go ahead and enable some other sharing services. Can I show you uh, what it looks like? Let's refresh on the front end. And you'll see a nice little black seam. Uh, let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's go to blue, for example. And you'll see the icons are now in blue. And let me show you one last feature that's pretty invaluable for me. I'll show you it in the next video. The next thing I want to show you is the emails feature. It used to pop in a pop-up and now it's all inline. So you just click on email. If you're logged in, it'll fill out your name and your email address automatically. If you're not, otherwise you'll just have to fill it in. And then click send email. And from that being, you can see that I got it. This is the email I received. Uh, subject share post to client of Uno and friends. Ronald Harika, Ronald Ronalfi at Gmail wants to share it with you to client of you know, and friends in that short link. Um, so then you frankly go visit it and they get highlight and share all they want to. So if you've found this plugin useful, uh, please rate it or go to mediaron.com slash give and give back a contribution. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.